Hi, my name is Alan McIver. I'm a headhunter in Taipei with Bola Associates and I'm going to give some tips about how to find a job in Greater China as a foreigner or as an expat. So that includes Hong Kong, Taipei, China. So the first thing I want to say is that I wrote an article in 2014 called How to Find a Job as an Expat in Shanghai. And that article is on LinkedIn, you can find it on Google, and I'll post a link to it under the video as well. The first tip I want to give is, is being physically there. So if you are looking for a job in Shanghai, for example, and you're currently based in France or the States, um, it's going to be very difficult for you to be um, considered for that position. So HR are not going to give you a call if you're not physically in the city. So that means if you're looking for a job in Greater China, I think being there, being in the city is very, very important. So I would take that gamble and, and just move to the city. Networking, I think, is a big thing. So networking means speaking and meeting people wherever you can, whether that be social events or restaurants or bars or friends of friends. The, the more people you meet, the more chances you have of finding that kind of good position in the city. They use LinkedIn effectively. So I'm going to make another video about how to use LinkedIn properly and I'll post a link to that uh, again underneath this video, so check that out. I'd say another one is, is targeting companies that actually hire foreigners already or hire expats. So you can see on LinkedIn if the company already has a couple of foreigners working for them, they're, you're more likely to be considered for that company. Another thing which I think is really important and very relevant to me personally is take that first step on the ladder. So that means just getting into the business world. So if you're like me and you're going from teaching English in Asia to the professional world, you have to take that first step. So for me, I wasn't too picky about salary or about um, the job function or the company for example I, I just wanted to take that first step on the ladder like get on the ladder and then I was able to build my career from there learn the local language so if you are moving to Taipei or, or to China learning Mandarin at least at least enough to speak basic level is very important if you have um, English and a bit of the local language you're going to increase your chances of being hired. Be smart about which jobs you're applying for so if the job description says they need the native local language and you don't have that you're not going to get that job. Be smart about which positions are actually open for expats in the first place. Okay thank you very much.